Hey guys, it's Anthony with The Rag Company and today we have a very special episode of a Wash Wednesday spin-off. Today we have Chuck here and Chuck, what kind of car do we have? Uh, we brought our 2018 Ford GT. So Chuck brought his Ford GT in for a photo shoot over at the Bart CPEC Studios across the street here. And Chuck, this car is amazing. It is beautiful. It's the first I've ever seen in this color. How does somebody obtain this? Yeah, well, it's in order to get one of these, you have to be chosen by Ford. So yeah. they say it's the only car in America right now that you can't buy. The selection process is my wife is a big Ford girl, so am I, or I'm a Ford guy, obviously. <laughs> but yeah. uh, we went ahead and filled out the application a couple years ago, submitted okay. it to Ford. We didn't know. We thought, let's just try. Yeah, you know, yeah uh, absolutely. We own a couple businesses. We own uh, IWS Motor Coaches and Mountain Home, Little oh. Cow. Cool. Um, yeah, know, about 30,000 oh, yeah. people, yeah. and we have IWS trailer sales. Okay. So we sell ATC and closed trailers. And so hence why you had such an awesome trailer yeah. with this car pulled out. Okay, that Absolutely. Make, that makes and sense. it's pretty neat. We turned in our video, uh, waited a year, and sure enough, Ford contacted us and they picked wow. us. And one of the assurances we give them is we said, you know, number one, we're thankful. Yeah, that, yeah. Because absolutely. this is reserved for very uh, wealthy people usually, yeah. and we're oh, just absolutely. hardworking people. That's well, we assured them that we were going to take the car and let it be seen. Yeah. And we would drive the car. And, Share it with the world, right? Yep. Show other people, yeah. In fact, the car was a little bit delayed, and we told them there was the Boise Roadster Show common, and yeah. they, they got it to us. They worked so hard, they actually asked us to not even wash the car um, for two months because the paint was still off-gassing yeah, and, yeah, and uh, we were able to get it there and I uh, met Jeff, the rag company, and yeah. you know, found out there's a lot more to wash in the car. There is, it, it gets pretty, and that's, what, and that's why you're here today. So guys, today we're gonna be showing Chuck how to properly wash his vehicle. And today's wash is going to be a little bit more elaborate than something I would normally do on this vehicle. Um, with a vehicle like this that does stay you know, in an enclosed trailer and also stays in your garage, um, this is something that you typically wouldn't have to do a big foam wash on, but this will be the first, I guess, deep clean, right, that this car has actually had. Yep. Um, so we're excited. So today we're going to be doing a pressure washer wash um, with a foam cannon, foaming pearl, uh, auto shampoo, and then following that we're going to be adding some bead maker to give that extra pop and protection uh, for your photo shoot over there, and I think it's going to look awesome. So with that said, we're going to start with the pressure washer and get at it. All right, guys, so with the vehicle rinsed off, it is time to foam the car. So, Chuck, have you ever used a foam cannon? <laughs> you know, the last time I seen something like that, I think it was on Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's good, that's good. That's all improv, guys, that's him. So this is the cream of the crop in terms of uh, foaming a vehicle. This is the PF22 cannon with the SGS28 handle. So this is kind of like a shorty handle. It's got a lot of recoil to it when you don't have the foam gun on it, but it produces an insane lather. And again, we're using Pearl Auto Shampoo, uh, which is a pH balance. Uh, car wash soap so and the reason you would use this is so you're not reaching into a soap bucket spread and dirt right cool, correct the, the idea of this is to add a ton of lubrication to the surface because when foam canning something it's it's basically providing an extraordinary amount of lubrication in terms of uh, doing a normal soap and wash uh, soap and water wash you know with just going into a bucket you're getting lubrication at that time of applying that wash medium whereas this you already have the lubrication there so when you are wiping it's consistent does gotcha. that mean you're not yeah. going to run out of that soap so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hand this off to you here i'm going to turn on the pressure washer i feel and, honored yeah yeah you're going to keep it pointed away yeah right? yeah <laughs> keep it pointed away but right when it turns on feel free to start spraying All right.
All right, so the car is officially foamed. Chuck did an awesome job. He got it all covered. It's been dwelling for, I don't know, a couple minutes or so. And so in our wash bucket here, we have both of our Cyclone wash mitts. Uh, and I kind of explained to you, we're going yep. to panel at a time, back into the rinse bucket, back in the wash bucket, back onto the car. And so let's go ahead and cue that footage. Do you suggest probably starting from the top and working down, or do you um, yep. just pick oh, yep. up front So we're fender? always going to go top down. Top down is always the way to do it. So again, we're going to do this one panel at a time, doing single passes. And then what, you, what I like to do is I like to flip the mitt, get it to the other side, and then we'll kind of tackle a different area. So I typically wash based on, the, based on the body lines of the vehicle. So at a certain point, I'll call that good, and then walk back over to my rinse bucket, and then rinse that out. back onto the wash bucket, and then we'll go back on the vehicle. All right guys, so we've been periodically rinsing this vehicle because we are working with some sunlight now and we don't want to let that soap bake onto the surface. It is pH balanced, however, again, you just don't want any soap baking on. So with that said, we've been periodically rinsing that, but we still need to wash the wheels. So for this, we're gonna be using the IK 1.5 with power clean diluted at five to one for these carbon wheels. These are awesome, these are amazing. And for washing these, we aren't gonna use a brush. We're actually going to use a Creature Edgeless in black because it's a 70-30 blend, it is soft, it's not going to cause any damage. So with that said, Chuck, I'm going to let you use the IK Foam 1.5. It's pretty simple, just like a gun. Go ahead and <laughs> it says, yeah, not so much. Blast it or it, no, it's not so much Guardians of the Galaxy like the last one, but this one's still pretty awesome. How much? Just, yeah, about there's good. Yeah, you did a good job. But what I do is I let that dwell for just a couple seconds and then I pull out my Creature Edgeless as my wash medium that's been sitting in that soapy water. So taking that out, what I'll do is I'll grab a piece of the towel and then just begin wiping down the wheel. And I'm constantly flipping the towel so I always have a new side. All right, so we'll go ahead and pump it up again and knock out this other wheel here. Perfect. That looks good to me. Wait, can I do it? So yeah, so we're gonna pull Alex in here, which is Chuck's son. We're gonna get him to uh, clean one of these wheels here. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna grab one of those extra towels. There's another one in there. Oh. Kind of wring it out a little bit. And then make sure it's kind of bundled up, like kind of in your hand like that, so it doesn't fall on the ground. Like this? Yep, kind of like that. And we're going to go ahead and start wiping down all these spokes. So it's okay if it touches the tire, but we don't want it touching the ground below that. Okay. So we kind of don't want really. Back just a so they can see. Oh, you're good. There you go. So yeah, you can kind of push the towel. What's nice about using a towel is because it, it's, it is a towel and it can conform to things. You can kind of shove it into things and hope that it gets it. Yeah. Whereas, well, a, br whereas a brush, you'll miss a lot of things with a brush. Yeah. Sometimes brushes are better, but sometimes towels are. Don't these kind of. Where's a wise man? Wait. Aren't these um kind of? Don't they kind of look like what plastic Legos? Kind of, they, yeah, they kind of look, they look a little bit like Legos. So we just finished with the wheel cleaning. What do you think? Uh, easy peasy. Yeah, it's easy, right? Just foam it on and, and like again, we wanted to use a softer towel on these carbon wheels. Those are beautiful. Those are amazing. So um, probably something I wouldn't ever use a brush on. Personally, it's something I'd always use a towel. Uh, but we got the job done, so now it's time to rinse Does it. Does that stuff attack the brake dust too? Correct, yeah. So all, basically power clean is an all-purpose cleaner and we dilute it, right? We never want to use it straight because it's so potent. So we always dilute it with water today. We did five to one, so five parts water to one part okay. cleaner. Uh, and that way it's pretty safe. For interior 
interior cleaning, I would go like 10 to one if I ever needed to use an all-purpose cleaner on the interior for a stain or a spot. But for exterior-wise, five to one is typically pretty good. So we got that on there, but we wanna rinse everything off because we're working with sunlight here. We have a blow dryer. We're gonna be blow drying the car today and then following up with some drying towels to get all the little spots and cracks and crevices. Absolutely, I'm ready, let's all go. Right, let's do it. All right, Chuck, so we just finished uh, getting rid of most of the uh, loose water with the blow dryer. It, it did an okay job, but in the future we'll probably pick up a more powerful one. Uh, but for now, we're gonna be using the Platinum Pluffle. This is our drying towel, super soft. It's a hybrid weave, so it contains our same Eagle fibers from the Eagle 500, which is our flagship towel combined with a waffle weave structure. So basically, not only is it super safe for soft paint, but it's also really absorbent. So this is- Eagle 500 with waffle weave. It sounds complicated, yes, I got but, it. but that, that's- Just don't that's, ask me to say it three times oh, no. really fast. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, I'm not planning on that. So okay. with that said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry the car off and then we're gonna follow up with a bead maker and that's gonna be our spray sealant. And we're gonna do that with a different towel, which is the Eagle 600. So for now, let's just go ahead and dry the vehicle, get all the areas with the sun first, get that cleaned up and move on. I'm on it. All right guys, so we just finished drying the car, the Platinum Pluffle, so now it's time to add some protection to it. Typically, you could use Beadmaker as a drying aid. However, I wanna use it as a standalone sealant because I think it's gonna give it that extra pop, and especially when we're covering it with more parts per million. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Eagle 600 drying, or I guess not drying towel, we're gonna use this Eagle 600 all around towel. It, it's, a, it's like the Eagle What's 500. The Platinum Pluffle? So the Platinum Pluffle is the drying towel we just got done using, okay. which is the mixture of the Eagle and the Waffle Weave. The Eagle 600 is kind of like an all-around super plush towel uh, for general exterior you use. You should be drawing plays up for John Gruden. I, <laughs> okay. I can, He'd probably call the Platinum Pluffle Eagle yeah. 500. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so with that said, we're gonna we're, we're gonna try to try to get it get it back on track here. So um, so what I like to do with this, I'm gonna go ahead and spray a panel and cover it pretty liberally, uh, not to the point to where it's overflowing everywhere, but then I'm gonna spray the towel a couple times to prime it, and then we're just gonna wipe it in and kind of buff it out. So we're gonna make the towel wet to dry it. Correct. So I'll perfect. Yep. I'll show you really. Yeah. I'll show you really quick what I'm talking about here. So just on the front, what I'll do is I'll give the towel a couple sprays, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and coat that complete front end there. And then what I'm gonna do is go in straight lines. And then I'm gonna flip the towel and then wipe it off. And what's nice is that this, this sealant technically cross-links into the, into the clear coat itself. So when you see those high spots like that, like kind of like a smear, that will dissipate into the surface and basically leave a nice smooth finish. To wipe the nope, away. nope, nope. You can get it, get it to the best of your ability and then you can kind of go back over it. But if you want to just go ahead and just for reference, take the back of your hand and kind of go like that, you can feel just how much slicker it is. Sure. So yeah, go ahead and go ahead and feel it. You always use the yeah, back of your finger there. And you'll kind of feel what I'm talking about. But we're gonna go over the over the whole car like this and uh, and, and go from there. So what we're gonna do, um, last step, in my opinion, what we should do, I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit more, 
get anything lodged in the cracks out, and then we're gonna follow up with this towel and just kind of run over them and grab them really quick. All right guys, so we just popped open the doors and had a little bit of some excess water within those jams. We were pretty surprised to see it all drain out, but that's kind of a feature, uh, how I look at it. So uh, with that said, we're gonna go back over everything again um, with some towels to kind of clean up those door jams and all of that exposed carbon underneath. So for that, we're gonna be using the Eagle 350. Chuck, if you don't mind, I'll take that 600 from you. We're gonna swap you out with this new lighter purple version. It's pretty. Okay. It's, it's just purple? It's just, well, it's a little bit lighter. Basically, it's not a fluffle? It's, <laughs> no. It's so, not purple? No, no. We, we don't, we haven't used that name yet, but we, but we might. Um, so the Eagle 600, that, the 600 is just the density of the towel. It's the GSM. So basically what we're doing is we're dropping the density to a 350 where it's a little bit more light and it's more manageable within those cracks and crevices so we can kind of shove it in. Sure. So with that said, what it'll do is I'm going to spray your towel down with some bead maker here and kind of prime the towel. So now that you have it on there, it's going to help absorb faster and it's also going to add some protection as you're drying. So I'm going to do the same thing with mine. We don't want to spray bead maker into the door jam, so I'm just going to go ahead and prime the towel. All right, let's get at it. Okay, so with the car now dried and protected, uh, now we're gonna follow up with the glass cleaning. So the glass cleaning, I hate glass cleaning, Chuck. I hate it. It's my least favorite thing to do um, because, in my opinion, I could never get it totally I mean, perfect. How you really feel. Oh, okay. I mean, well, we can just let it out right here on camera. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about it, it started when I was 13 years old, and you know, my parents never. I'm just kidding. So, um, with that said, what we're going to use, we're using IK multi sprayer with O and R in it for our glass cleaning. We have our new 16 by 24. Uh, this is the new blue diamond glass towel that we just brought on, and this is an awesome glass towel because it provides plenty of glide, uh, and it feels good when you're actually drying the towel or drying the window, and it, it it's nice. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna spray the towel just a little bit and dampen it up. Hold on, I don't wanna blow this. Yeah, you're, you're, so you're, you're, yeah, you're doing great. So we'll just kinda of dampen it up really quick and then we'll come over here and just briefly add a couple spritz. We don't wanna go overkill with it. And then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and then just dry that glass. So these, these glass towels are meant to be grabby because they're meant to provide a streak-free finish, but the idea is just to add plenty of lubrication and then just take your time, make slow passes, and you will definitely get the results that you're looking for. Look like that, what do you, how does it look? Yeah, it looks, good. looks pretty good, right? So we'll do the same thing around the car. I'll let you knock out this front portion of the windshield here. So a couple sprays there and go ahead and just start, yeah, start drying it. All right, guys, so we just finished up with the Ford GT here. It looks awesome. We put bead maker on it. Uh, Chuck, what do you think? Looks good? Oh, yeah, totally thorough. Like I said, if you ever want to wash it again, just let me know. I'll be right over. I'm expensive, just letting you guys know. So, Alex, you got to wash it. You got to get your hands on it. What do you think? I thought that was awesome. Also, my dad said they're going to bring donuts over. So Okay, donuts. Hey, high five on that. There you go. Right on. So, anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. What we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the studio across the street and show you the final after shots. I think you guys are really going to dig it. If you guys like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and as always, stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rat Company. Wait a minute, I can find you on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right.